Welcome friends to another Stuff Station 1 review from my collection of timepieces and accessories from a broad price range. Items are showcased for their aesthetics, materials, manufacturing or downright quirkiness. Now the El Primero is a 5 Hz 36,000 vibrations per hour high beat movement and as I mentioned before it is the or was the world's uh, first chronograph uh, that used an oscillating weight. Now it's been in production since 1969 and there's been over 70 versions of this. Now what I find remarkable about this particular uh, reference, this particular movement is the fact that you know there for the 410 movement which is uh, in this particular watch or the 410z there is no fewer than 354 parts and those uh, 354 parts equate to an overall quite staggering for the price really 11 complications so you have the fact that you know it's an automatic watch you have the hours you have the minutes you have the permanent seconds you have the chronograph seconds you have the uh, minute counter you also have the hour counter you have the date the day the month and also a moon face so that's 11 complications in total and you know it's all housed within a fairly light watch now with the bracelet off i believe the actual weight of uh, this particular watch with just the watch head uh and or sorry with a leather bracelet is around 74 grams so this is probably only about 100 100 and 10 grams at most and that's what I love about it for packing so many features and even on this metal bracelet you know it's actually quite a light easily uh, wearable piece now the movements ha all um, have serial numbers and they are required to for uh, COSC certification and also the rotors have to be numbered as well if we have a look at the actual movement there we can actually see that it has been numbered and my rotor is uh, numbered uh, 23,635 so there were quite a few of these that they actually made um, the rotor itself is actually bi-directional and the movement uh, takes sort of it does take a bit of time and attention to set in order to set the actual calendar and the actual uh, moon phase and there are certain times that you cannot set the uh, functions uh, which would result in uh, damaging the actual movement itself now obviously I've discussed a little bit about the decoration to the front of the actual piece but there is sort of minimal uh, decoration to the actual movement of the watch itself. You know, you have a little bit of perlage work going on there. You can see there on one of the bridges and you know there's no real sort of Cote de Genève or any Cote de Soleil on the actual movement itself. I think I counted something like four heat blued uh, screws but then again I suppose we have to understand that this is a very functional movement and with so many parts you know it and you know apart from the rotor itself there's you know not really much space or much area to actually sort of decorate and I find the rotor itself is actually sort of um, very uh, uh, plainly sort of decorated and I don't mind that too much you know it's a functional piece there is a lot of you know a, a feast for the eyes really in the uh, uh, all the different parts that you can actually sort of see there now the watch itself, it does actually feature a column wheel and you can see the column wheel just there. You can see uh, half of it just here. You see these three little bits that are poking out and a column wheel, uh, a chronograph is actually more accurate. So the start stop reset is a little bit sort of smoother. Okay, and we can see the start stop. Now you will have seen there was a slight jump now the reason why we have that slight little jump is because this utilizes uh, what's known as a horizontal clutch now that connects the chronograph to the timekeeping uh, gear train now that looks nicer but 
with other watches they feature vertical clutches and vertical clutches are basically more efficient as there are no teeth to engage or disengage which can cause a, a jump to the chrono so you know jumping sort of chrono hands are standard when you actually have these horizontal uh, clutches but apart from that you know the actual we can see that the smoothness of the actual chronograph movement it just runs obviously it's running at a higher sort of beat rate so you don't get that sort of staggered sort of beat um, but apart from that you know it is uh, a really nicely operating uh, chronograph and we can see there that it sort of clicks back nicely into uh, position. Also, the nice thing about the movement is that it does have a 50 hour power reserve. So, you know, you're good to go uh, for around uh, two days uh, before you uh, next need to sort of either wind it up or wear it and give it a shake. And the back of the watch does actually come with a sapphire clear case back. So that's a little bit about the actual a movement itself. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please consider subscribing, liking or having a dialogue by pressing some of the buttons below. So many thanks and goodbye for now.